I just wanna hold you I just wanna look into your eyes And tell you that I want you You know you make me feel so alive Can't stop thinking about your day and night Here is a physique update I've had people asking me It's been, I guess, almost six months since the show and I haven't talked about bodybuilding or bikini or anything like that much since then so I've had people asking me well are you gonna compete again what's next stuff like that so my answer is yes absolutely I actually think about competing almost every day I'm extremely motivated and maybe I need to talk about this more so comment down below do you guys want me to talk to you guys about this more my my thought process my plans and everything like that so let me know but for the purposes of this video I will talk a little bit about it yeah I still plan on competing in 2020 it's something that Kyle and I have talked about and I think that I'll be a good amount of time for me to make necessary body composition changes I definitely feel like I need to bring up my upper body quite a bit my lower body is pretty strong so I actually want to focus more on my upper body and just trying to become more defined so that way I look a little bit more shredded on stage maybe that's not what they're going for by that point in three years but for me I don't care about winning or anything I just want to come in 100% shredded with shredded arms and shoulders and biceps and my back and everything and I am curious to see if I'm able to bring that type of package because I always have brought a more softer look and I'm not sure if I am genetically built to bring that type of look so in order to kind of see that to see if I'm able to bring that look I gotta put on some size so that is the biggest goal over the next three years crazy right biggest thing was bodybuilding let's talk about this because Kyle and I've been talking about this a lot lately is it's so sexy right now and people compete year after year after year and it's it's not healthy to do that you shouldn't be competing every single year for multiple years yes I did it two years in a row yes Kyle did it three years in a row and three years in a row for Kyle definitely took a toll on him where he's like done doesn't even want to think about it I know he'll compete again probably the same year but he's just like so tapped out with the idea of dieting that it's just not something that's like on his mind right now so that he overdid it he pushed it and his body basically like his body can handle it but your body just it's not meant to do that it's trying to help you survive and basically when you're dieting not to go off on too much of a tangent but basically when you're dying you're you're starving yourself you're slowly shutting down your body it's not healthy to do that every single year so three years from now is gonna be ample amount of time for me to make those changes that I'm looking for so having said that physique we are sitting at 119 pounds now this I feel like I look so much different this year in comparison to when I weighed this much last year when I was sitting at 119 120 ish pounds by this time last year I felt really kind of disgusting I held a lot of my weight in my tummy area and I just felt bloated sluggish lethargic and I just didn't feel that great I liked being around 115 pounds but this year sitting at that amount of weight I feel completely different I'm eating more food and I feel like I look different as well I think my body has definitely added on some muscle yes of course there is fat there as well but I definitely feel I made a, a good amount of changes in my body to allow me to look differently which is really really cool that is why I love bodybuilding so prioritizing my off season right after dieting and doing a recovery diet I think it really allowed my body to recover the way that we wanted it to so I'm really excited to see where it goes so having said that my plan with Kyle is to put on maybe about one pound a month until I get up to closer to 125 we might even push it to 130 now I've never been heavier than 120 pounds so I'm very interested to see how I'm gonna look yes some of that is gonna be fat the majority of that probably is gonna be fat but by doing it slowly like this by adding just one pound a month is going to allow me to not put on unnecessary fat and it's gonna allow me to put on a little bit more muscle if I'm genetically able to so that is kind of the reasoning behind that because I just want to bring a whole new package so yeah other than that that's about it for my body composition but my macros I mean I don't care I'll share it with you guys if you guys are copying me what I'm eating that's just um, for lack of a better term idiotic it, it everybody is completely different and our bodies are built differently even if you go to online calculator in the world for your macros they'll tell you that I'm eating too much like my fitness pal for example will say that I'm eating too much I need to scale back my food otherwise I'm gonna be gaining five pounds 
every single week. I've had that happen before. But having said that, I am eating 2,600 calories, 70 grams of fat, 375 carbs, and 120 grams of protein. I have never had that amount of carbs. I've never gone past 350, and it is, it's a, it's a good amount of food. I'm definitely the carb queen, I will admit it. I love my carbs, it gives me energy, and I feel good on that amount of food. So, yeah. That's about it for my physique update, macro update, whatever update you want to call this. Having said that, we're going to go off to the gym right now. I'm going to go film a, a workout edit. This company called I Am Fit Girls, they gave me some bands and some straps to do glute work. So I haven't given them a try yet. So I'm going to go to the gym. We're going to film it, show you some exercises that I am doing with these pieces of equipment. And then I'm going to talk about it, give you guys a little bit of review of what I think of their products. So be right back. <laughs> guys check them out. I have actually never used a hip circle before. I've been wanting to for some time now and they were kind enough to send this to me so thank you you guys. I absolutely love their products. Full disclosure, I am not paid to say this or anything like that. This is just my honest objective opinion of their products. They just asked me to give them a review so here we go. All right, the hip circle. Like I said, I've never used one of these before, so I don't have anything to compare it to. I've never used the slingshot one. That's a pretty popular one. But this one is, um, I really like how it's really grippy, so it kind of stays in place on your legs. I find that with some mini bands that when you're doing like hip thrusts or hip abduction, stuff like that, that they sometimes move on your legs. So you kind of have to readjust during your sets. This, I definitely didn't have to do that. It was very, very, very difficult. I was doing a workout, but there was a couple times where Kyle would be like, do a couple extra sets so I can get some different angles and stuff like that. And I'm like, Kyle, I can't, I can't do anymore. I gotta take a break. This thing is killing me in a good way. So I definitely felt the booty burn from doing hip thrusts and seated hip abductions with this. This was an amazing product. I'm definitely, definitely gonna start incorporating that into my glute work and even into my warm up routine because I find it really, really helped open up my hips as well and made it a little bit more difficult for them because of the, uh, the difficulty to stretch it. So very, very, very awesome. I really enjoyed the hip circle. Next, we have some like ankle wraps. So if you're doing cable hip abductions or cable glute kickbacks, you just wrap these around your ankle. Sometimes I really don't like these ones because I find them very uncomfortable around your ankle and they can sometimes rub, but I know you guys can't see it, but it, this one is really like, what's the word? Like, I don't know, I'm really bad with product reviews, like spongy. So it's very, very soft, I guess, around your ankle. It's hard for me to explain, but overall, this was really, really comfortable around my ankle. This is definitely the best quality one that I've ever tried. So I really, I really enjoyed it. I do have to say though, I do like the straps that go around your heel versus around your ankle, just because I find for myself by having support around my heel of my foot, I get greater activation in my glute versus strapping in around the ankles. I don't know, maybe they'll make uh, additional products in the future where they have ones that go around your foot versus around your ankle. But because the ones at the gym, they have these as well. So I will definitely be busting these out versus using the generic ones that the gym has so yeah you guys make sure you guys check them out on the gram i'm gonna link them down below awesome products you guys i have no complaints whatsoever
fun little Sunday afternoon that we have had. Not really, just been answering emails and stuff like that, but that's okay, that's the way I like it. Anyways, um, Kyle and I were actually gonna go grab some dinner. It's my birthday tomorrow, the big 2-8. Holy fuck, I am old as balls, but you know what? I've said it before, maybe last year on my birthday, I actually don't mind getting older. I find the biggest thing for me is I am always focusing on progressing, not just with my business, my fitness goals and stuff like that, but my mindset as well. So I find that each year I'm becoming a better person and I'm just... I'm, I'm just excited to where I'm at and I'm excited to my potential of where I can continue to keep going. So my biggest goal is to be a better person. And I know that sounds so weird because it should be common sense to be a good person and it's not that I'm a bad person, but it's just my goal to always be better, always to be moving forward, to always be progressing. So because of that, I don't mind getting older because I don't really, I don't, I think I would want to hang out with the person who I was when I was like 19, for example. Not that I was bad or anything, I just, I'm a way better person almost 10 years later. So who knows what 33 year old Kristen's gonna be like, man, that girl's gonna be lit. I'm excited to meet her. So I don't know, I like getting older. But on that note, I don't know if I'm gonna take you guys for dinner. Kyle and I, we don't get to go out too often. So I'm just gonna go enjoy my time with my handsome fiance. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, do me three big favors, if you don't mind, for me, for my birthday. Come on, you guys can do that for me. I would really appreciate it. Make sure you guys like the video, comment something down below, anything, just maybe even happy birthday or whatever, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.